In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to go from a WordPress.com website to a hosted WordPress site. So I'm at my WordPress.com site. It's andyrush.wordpress.com. And I'm going to export this site and move it to one that may look a little bit more familiar to folks. This is a UNF faculty template uh, install at the faculty domains website. So it's andyrush.domains.unf.edu. So we're going to go from here to here. Now obviously we've got some differences in the theme and we'll show you how to download the correct theme once we get to that point. But for now what we need to do is export this site and import it into our other WordPress installation. Okay, so this can't be done until you do get a WordPress uh, site up and running on the faculty domains system. So let's go back to WordPress.com's site. Um, I'm going to go to My Sites, and we'll scroll down to the Settings in the sidebar. And if we scroll down on this general page, towards the bottom, you will see an export feature. So we'll click on that. Now you can select, be selective in terms of what content you export, but in this case, we're going to do everything. So we'll click on the Export All button. And it's going to send you an email about a download link. We can do this right here. We'll just click on this download button. And I'm in Google Chrome, so it's going to just download this to my download, downloads folder. If you're on a PC, it should work basically the same way. I'm going to click on this download arrow here and choose show in finder. This might be something different on the PC like show in computer. Um, but this will just show me the window where this file was downloaded. Now it's a zip file. And what I need to do is extract the file that's within this zip file so that I can import it into my new site. So I'm going to double click on this. And you'll now see that we have, actually go back, we have a folder that contains the file. And I'll double click on the folder to get in and see this file that ends in XML. So this XML document is the thing that we're going to install on the hosted WordPress site. Okay, so just remember that this is here. It's in the downloads directory in that folder. So let's switch back to our UNF faculty domains website that we installed. I'm going to go up to the dashboard. And we're going to go down to tools. And now we're going to choose import. And you'll see some different import types that you can do, Blogger being one of them. There's a bunch of them. But what we want to do is WordPress. And you may, if you've got WordPress installed in a certain way, not see Run Importer, but Install Now. Um, but we've installed the WordPress importer by default. So you should see Run Importer. So we'll go ahead and do that. Now what we want to do is choose a file from our computer. And we're looking again for that XML file. So we'll click on Choose File. We're in our Downloads folder. Okay, so I'm going to double click on this WordPress one. Here's our XML file. That's the one that we're going to upload and import. So once you've got that file listed here, click on Upload File and Import. And you can do some selection of authors. In other words, if, you've, if you want to import this as a, as a certain person, I want to make sure also that I download any attachments. Okay. And once you've got this selected, you are ready to go. So I'll click on the Submit button. Okay, so when it's done, you may see this failed to create new user. Um, so it's going to add them to the current user, which is the admin in this case. Okay. <clears throat> so if we go and look at the blog, we imported the files from the WordPress.com site. Now things look a little bit different. Um, we've got our blog posts, including the original Hello World post that's there. But the theme is still the same as it was. It's still the original UNF faculty domains uh, theme. Um, 
the recent posts has changed, but the links haven't changed. If you look at the menu and go to the Curriculum VD page, and go to the, the dashboard, and you start looking at some of the files that were imported, we saw some of the, pace, some of the posts appear on the front page, and there are those. If we go to Pages, we'll see the pages that get installed by default, which are the CV page, the courses page, the research and service page. But there's ones that have been added. So there's Workshop, and there's two About pages. So there were some pages that were there to start with, and then these pages were imported when we did the WordPress.com import. So we need to now kind of go and, and navigate and, and delete some pages and, and make those uh, modifications so that this site, which again looks like this, will look more like this one. Now what's happening also is you might have noticed a different, you know, the New York City background was here before. This actually, uh, this particular theme will change the header kind of randomly. So if I refresh the screen, reload it, it'll load up a different picture. And that's a different area that you can customize and we won't really get into that too much. But what we do want to do is go to WordPress and install that theme. Now the theme is called Affinity. So I'm going to go to the themes page, and this is the place where you can make the modifications for your theme, choose the different ones that are installed. But in this case, I want to add a new theme. And what I'm going to do is click up in this search box and type the word affinity. And here's the same theme that's being used on the WordPress.com site. So I'm going to click on install. And then I'm going to activate. And I'll click this link here that allows me to visit the site. Okay. Now, you'll notice that we've got a bunch of stuff up here. So this is the combination of the template site plus the import that we did. If you go back to the WordPress site, we've got a lot less stuff up here. So we want to make this menu We want this menu to be a little bit more simplified. Okay, so let's go and change the menu. If we go to the customize area and we go to menus, you see two menus there. So let's look at both of the ones that are there. This is the one that we want to go to. If you look at this one, this is from the original faculty template. So none of this stuff is, is what we want. So let's go back. And if you choose menu locations, and we choose menu one, notice how everything changes here to correspond to this. So the menus should be the same. All right, if we click on the about page, it should show us about. If we click on the CV page, it should go to the CV with my information from my WordPress site. And if we go to workshop, we should go to the workshop page. If this all looks good to you, you can actually save and publish this. So we'll go up and click on save and publish. All right. So now this site is looking quite a bit more like this one. And we actually coincidentally have the same wallpaper in the background. Now, this says Course Media Developer. And this says just another website. And up in the corner is actually the title of the site. So my blog versus Andrew Rush. So let's make a change to make that the same as the WordPress site. So we'll go to Customize again. I'm going to go to Site Identity, and for my site title, type in Andrew Rush. Notice how it changes up here. So this is a, uh, a live preview of the site. And my title, or my tagline, 
course media. Developer. And we'll make sure that this is checked here to display those. I'll click on Save and Publish. And we'll take a look at the website. All right, and as we scroll down here, we're getting the blog posts. All right, so we're looking pretty good. Let's go back to the WordPress site and just notice one thing. I'm at the home page of my WordPress.com site, and as I scroll down, I see the About page. I don't see the blog posts, and that's what I want. I want this About page to be the first thing that, that people see. So we're going to make a change in our hosted WordPress site to show that About page. All right, here's the blog, and notice if I click on About, it will show that About page. All right, notice also it's called About To. Yeah, that's, a, that's a change that we'll need to just be aware of. All right, um, let's go back to the home page of my hosted site and again show you that this is the blog page and we want to change that. So we're going to go to the Customize area one more time. And where it says Static Front Page, we're going to click on that. Now, by default, your latest posts are displayed in a default installation for WordPress. So what we're going to do is switch to a static page. And we're going to click on Front Page. And there's two abouts. So hopefully the second one is the one that we're going to be, is going to be the right one. So I'm going to choose it and see what happens. If I scroll down, I see the proper page. If I chose the other one, it would be this kind of standard, you know, WordPress example about page. That's not the one that we want. So just notice what changes here. And in this case, I'll pick the right one. So we'll choose this about page. We'll click on Save and Publish. And we'll X out of that and we'll show the main page here. And sure enough, we have the About page. All right. Now there's one last change that I want to make. And before, we were looking at my blog and there were a bunch of blog posts here. But now, if I click any of these links, I can't get to it. There's no place for me to go to get to my blog. So what I need to do, I'm going to go to customize one more time. And I've already created the page to do this. So if we go back to static front page, I created a page called articles. And this is just a blank page that you create. And this will house essentially your blog posts. So I'm going to click on articles. And you don't really see much change here other than showing you the articles page. All right. And if I click on Save and Publish, and we close out of this, and let's just make sure. Yeah, we're at the, the top of the page. If I, if I scroll down, again, I see my About page, but there's no way to get to my articles, at least not from the menus. So go back to that customize area and see that articles is chosen. I need to add this to my menu. So let's go to menus. Menu one is the one that we're working with. You don't see the page here, but if we click on add items, we've got one called articles. And we can put this wherever we need to. I can put it at the end. Maybe I want it in the second position. Wherever you would like it. Click on Save and Publish. Close out the Customizer. And notice now that Articles is listed here. And if I, again, if I scroll down the main page, it's the About page. If I go to Articles, now I've got my blog posts. So people can read what I've written in terms of those posts. So that is kind of a basic uh, longish introduction and details about how to go from your WordPress.com site to a hosted site using UNF faculty domains. 
So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you soon.